Hey everybody, it's Devin with On Earth and Heaven. Today we're planting some squash seeds in this new bed I just made. If you're planting multiple different kinds of squash in the same area and you're, and you're gonna be planning on saving seeds, you're gonna be getting hybrids between all those different kinds of squash. So I'm planting a butternut squash and acorn squash here. The seeds out of these, plant, out of these squash are gonna be a combination of butternut and acorn squash, which I want to do. I wanna breed my own varieties. But if you don't want that, you should only plant one kind of squash in a in one area. Um, now, that was interesting. I don't know if you caught that, but two hummingbirds just like were fighting right there or something. That was weird. Now, one thing about kinds, squash kind, okay? No matter what you do in terms of breeding squash, you're never gonna breed a non-squash. You're never gonna be able to breed something that's not in squash kind. It just won't be able to happen. You could breed something really weird that, you know, that's like really long or big or not even fruiting, but it's always gonna be squash kind. So when we're talking about micro and macro evolution, like this is like micro evolution in a sense, but you're never gonna get a, like a, a tomato out of here. It's just not gonna happen. So, I mean, as someone who, as someone who deals with plants a lot, I can just tell you and ask anyone of any faith, and yeah, you're not going to get, like, you're never going to be able to breed squash out of squash. It's just not going to happen. Praise the Lord. He, uh, he keeps kinds together. Now, kinds are not the same thing as species. They're different. Um, but I think it's just cool to be able to, like, realize that when you're actually experiencing like breeding and stuff. It's very, it's very obvious when you're actually in it like this. Um, anyway, we'll do an update at some point once this is a little bit more filled out. This is going to run like over the fence and all throughout here. So, and then this time next year, we'll be able to plant the hybrid seeds, which are a combination between the acorn squash and the butternut squash. Now the issue with that is if we, if we plant a bunch of seeds throughout here of the hybrids, those seeds will be hybridized even further. So I'm still trying to figure out how to prevent that from happening, but you'll be there for it. Well, I love you guys. God bless. Have a great rest of your day.